Goff said something after the game last night. Your feelings about it, playing it, is it boring, is it bad for hockey? Uh, it's definitely not bad for hockey. That's that's pretty absurd comment. Um, but, uh, I mean, you know, originally when we brought the system in however many years ago, I wasn't uh, too keen on playing it, to be honest with you. Uh, but as we've continued to play it, I see how successful it is and how frustrating it is for other teams. And, um, I mean, I'm sure at times to the fans when we're just sitting back in it, uh, it doesn't look, look great. But at the same time, it works for us. And I think a lot of these people are just saying it uh, out of frustration because it's working. You've always talked about that defensive checking style as being what helps you guys to win. Does that kind of play into that with the way that you guys have built the identity here? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I will always believe that defense wins championships. And, uh, you know, uh, we don't want that our identity to be 1-3-1. One, one. We want our identity to be the, you know, hard-checking, good two-way team. Um, yeah, I mean, I saw a bunch of stuff on the internet yesterday about, uh, you know, not us making plays and all this type of stuff. And we have so many good players in here that do make plays and that are great players in this league. And, uh, yeah, we're not, our identity is not the 1-3-1. One, one. Yeah, it's a big part to our game and it's something that frustrates other teams, but uh, we bring so much more than the 1-3-1. One, one. Was it affected you in any way, shape, or form being the player that, that you, know, you want to be, that you know you can be, that you are? Like, the, does the system affect you in any way? Um, I thought uh, originally I did think it did, to be honest, because um, I'm like the last guy back. So I kind of go back, get the dump in, usually get rocked, and then I can't join the rush. So I thought at, originally that it hurt uh, my offense a little bit. And uh, but I've, so I've learned to, uh, you know, still create the offense out of it. Uh, I don't think it hurts my game at all. Yeah, I've. Uh, I mean, there's uh, different things I can do now uh, to avoid the hits. I mean, I've always been a big guy on avoiding the hits, but uh, when it was fresh, you know, I kind of rathered having a guy right on my back rather than a guy, you know, three feet from me because you can't make a guy a move on a guy three feet from you because it's easy one to read. Whereas if he's right on top of you, he has to bite on your first move. So originally, I struggled with that to be honest, but now that we've been playing it so long. Uh, it's like second nature to me, and it's easy, and I've figured out how to do it. Drew, how do you, how do you, how do you avoid most of those hits? I mean, you say you get rocked, but it's yeah. not very often. I mean, how, how, is it innate? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm aware of uh, who's on the ice. I'm aware of uh, where all the players are basically at all times, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm good at dodging hits. It's, it's a skill that no one really talks about, to be honest. Um, you know, there's some guys that want to reverse hit, like Roisey. Uh, there's guys like me that try to just get out of the way I hits or at least absorb the least amount of can of it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not even always just big hits. It's just being in front of me. If I see a guy in front of me that's forechecking me, I'm usually not going to go join the rush because, I mean, there's no point in just racing up against this guy at that time. So, um, but yeah, um, it's just a skill of mine to dodge hits.